Elon Musk says damage from the anomaly during testing appears to be minor. But he hasn't said anything about the cause and source of ignition. He says an individual inspection of each Raptor is required. For this, booster needs to be rolled back to the production site. Yesterday, Starship Gazer's photo showed us that some damage have been done to the orbital launch mount, and workers were seen picking up the debris. But the booster seems to be fine as you see in this picture. These engines are not deformed and remain intact. Now, I think teams will focus on static fire of Ship 24 while the booster is away. Rocket Lab successfully launched its fifth mission of the year. Electron rocket carrying National Reconnaissance Office's satellite, NROL-199 lifted off from Launch Complex 1 in New Zealand. The mission was named WISE-1 Looks Ahead, and it was the first of two back-to-back -back launches for the National Reconnaissance Office. Rocket Lab is becoming a reliable launch partner for NASA and other customers. Yesterday, NASA released the first five full-color clear images captured by the multi-billion dollar space telescope James Webb Space Telescope. Aren't these images fascinating? NASA says it's just a start. James Webb will continue to take pictures over the coming months and years. It will help to better understand the early universe and the study of distant stars and other planets. The images are overflowing with so many details that we had never seen before. Scientists will spend hours and hours studying these images and making new discoveries.